up, everyone? Today we're going to be reading Chapter 1, A Boy Who Loved Flying, and we're also going to read Chapter 2. Step from Midnight on August 5th, 1930, Neil Armstrong was born in the Ohio farmhouse that belonged to his grandparents. Neil was the oldest of Stephen and Viola Armstrong. Three children. He had a younger sister named June and a younger brother named Dean. Neil was always his mother's pet. She once wrote that he was a pleasure for us to raise in every in every way. Maybe that was because Neil was a lot like his mother. Plain, serious and determined. Calm. It's calm, mother calm. Serious and determined. Neil never had trouble making friends. Still, he was shy and not as far as loving as Dean. Neil's mother stayed at home caring for Neil's children caring for Neil's children. She also taught Sunday school. Neil's father worked for the Ohio state government because of his job. The family had moved many times. In fact, they moved 16 times before Neil was 13. Finally, the Armstrongs settled in the little Ohio town of Wapakonata. The first day came, the Wright brothers Orville and Wilbur grew up in Dayton, Ohio, near where Neil Armstrong was born. Like Neil, um, they were interested in anything they, that flew from the time that they were kids. They made paper toys that they called bats which could guide our air current. But in 1930, when Wilbur was 36 and Orville was 32, they did something amazing, something that people had dreamed of doing for thousands of years. They built the first real airplane, one, with an engine that actually flew instead of going on the wind. <coughs> Their one-seater plane was made of wood and cloth. It was eight feet high and had wings that were 40 feet across. Orville made the first successful flight on December 17, 1903. In Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, the weather was much better than the, in Ohio. How long was the flight? Only 12 seconds. And how far they did the plane travel? Only 120 feet. And it was only 20 feet off the ground. But it was the beginning of a whole new age. Neil loved building model planes of out of balsa wood wired tissue paper. They powered by wound her up rubber bands and the basement. He set up a wine tunnel with a fan so he could see how well his models flew. According to his brother, Dean, sometimes Neil would fly one of his old model planes out the window. He thought it was exciting to watch it crash on the driveway. Neil belonged to a Boy Scout troop for many years. In fact, Neil became an Eagle Scout. The highest level in scouting, it was the 1940s. By this time, 
and in the United States were fighting against Germany in World War II. Neil and the other scouts made models of different enemy planes. No war planes ever came anywhere near Ohio. Still, if one had, Neil could have identified it right away. Neil read the airplane magazines. Airplane magazines. He drew detailed sketches of his favorite planes, learning about planes. However, was it the same to uh, learning to fly planes? And that was Neil's want to, to do most of see how much there is. Yeah. We're gonna read another chapter, all right? Chapter two, real planes. Neil is determined to fly. Fort Cognita Air Flight Airfield was nearby. Today, it's the White Wat Park Cognita Neil Armstrong Airport. As a teenager, Neil took part times to pay for flying lessons. He moved at the he moved the lawn at a cemetery. He helped make donuts at a donut company. More than one thousand and three hundred nights. He got the job at the do donut company because he was small enough to climb into the dough mixer and clean it. All this extra money went to do flying lessons. By the time Neil was 15, he earned his pilot license. Now he knew how to fly a plane, but he was still young, too young to drive. At Bloom High School, only six blocks from his home, Neil wasn't a top student, but he was better, better than average, like his mother. He was a um, musical. He played great stone horn, great to, great to tone horn, in a jazz band called the Mississippi Moonshiners. From the time he was learned he to read, he loved books. In his first year of elementary school. He read more than a hundred in his in high school. His favorite subjects were science and math. He wanted to go on to college. He wanted to learn more about planes and how they flew. The Armstrongs were not poor. They owned their own. They had a car. They were always enough food. But money was still tight, and a college education was very expensive. Neil, however, was able to attend Purdue University in Indiana on a Navy scholarship. He wanted to study aeronautic engineering, how planes are built, and what made them fly. In return for the scholarship, money. Neil had to serve the U.S. Navy. This arrangement was fine with Neil. This, in the Navy, he could fly planes. Anyways, that's it for tonight, everyone. I am tired after all. I hope you liked that book. There's other books out there, really, I promise. I'm going to get more. But I hope you like this book. This is on another song enough.